Welcome back to this Let's Play of The Last Remnant, and uh, welcome to the Metapond here, which is the second to last tier of the Ancient Ruins. And it's the last sort of real tier. The uh, last tier is essentially just a walk up to a boss. There's some new enemies here, these guys, um, and I'll fight one of them sooner or later. Uh, and I'll fight one of them on screen. They're really kind of, they're basically like the uh, first boss we fought here. They have the quirky little side benefit of once they attack, they sort of lock onto you, they never forget you. So they will keep on charging after you until they find you. Um, you can run faster than they can, so you, it's not like you have to fight them. But I will choose to do so. To the right, though, um, is one of the reasons I actually came to the Ancient Ruins earlier rather than later. Um, and this is the, the Amagi, which is a random weapon, which either Pagus or Maddox will use. Uh, Kermit or Maddox, I guess I should say. Um, and I'm not actually sure which one of them is going to request it, but we'll find out soon enough. So, I don't want to save for that game. I'm going to try fighting one of these. I guess I could have actually engaged it more gracefully than that, but... And they do come in groups, so it's not quite like fighting the first boss. So I think they hit about as hard as he does. Which is not that hard. But with three of them, yeah, you know, they're not trivial. Yeah, Rush as Ninja, you'll notice that we are not even... You know, no one has engaged them yet, and we're already getting hit from behind option. That's one of the perks to being a ninja. Somebody actually has to be in front of them for you to attack them from behind. Like most enemies that are copies of bosses, they do multi-deadlock as well, which is irritating. They also have insta-kill attacks, which could be more irritating than is it. They die quickly enough that it's not a big deal. It's not like fighting up and all over again. And uh, Rush, of course, is immune to those attacks. Because they still do damage. You can't be instant. They, however, only multi-deadline, not three. Doesn't make a big difference. But...
Hey! It's nothing, nothing. I've gotten a little stronger. I hope I've grown stronger than before. Flavors of awesome! And they drop these Colossus skulls are a uh, magazine drop. But they do drop uh, Jin's coin is another uh, um, one of those rare. Well, they're not actually all that rare, but very commonly used late game crafting items, and so there's a lot of people fighting over them in the end. But, anyway, um, I will go back and clean up all of those enemies that we ran into and be right back. Alright, a couple of groups of ank boulders and a couple of greater demons later, we're back, and uh, that should sort of clear the path for where we're going. The uh, two sides of the Metapon tier are essentially identical. They're just flips of each other. So if you're looking at the maps, they can actually be somewhat disorienting. But there are maps available on GameFAQs or on the wiki. They're, they're not perfect, but they got the job done. It's not as helpful as actually having a map in-game, especially because you get to the whole question of, okay, where am I? There's another new enemy on this floor. Those aren't really new enemies. We've been fighting them in the sixth path. And actually, the ones here are... Well, they drop different things. Um, the There's one object, I think it's like inverted terapest bar, which only drops in the sixth path. It's sort of annoying because you run into them here and there's not... They don't drop the main thing you need. And all that's back here is just another one of those guys. I'm not going to worry about them. I'm actually going to skip fighting them. Maybe I'll come back and fight them off screen again. But I'm certainly not going to show fighting them on screen. They're exactly like you know any of the other sort of big bug enemies. They, uh, they don't do anything particularly special. They just have lots of hit points and don't die very quickly. These, on the other hand, are a little more novel. This is, well, I say these, but it's actually, this is another rare monster type. Um, they're not as bad as the observers. There are actually two kinds. Um, there's Oblivion Wing and then there's another one. One of them is actually unique and one of them is just, you know, an enemy. There's also a terror one. It only spawns on the other side. And these are, I mean, Compared to the uh, observers, I guess I'm going to be comparing everything to observers now, but they're kind of a joke. I mean, they don't have any really nasty abilities, and they certainly don't attack five times. Basically, just hard to use lots of hit points. And even though they're quote unquote rare, I mean, they have the, the green hit points or the green name, they really are just standard enemies. They're just. 
I guess they've got more hit points than you'd expect. And they don't tell you how many hit points they have left. That's a challenge. It's dead or it's not dead. That's really all you need to know. Dead. Sweet! Excellent. Did everyone see what just happened? I feel like I'm grown. And sadly, they uh, don't really give you all that much that's of interest. I have... There are other ways to get Pangu's Bone. Specifically, you can just kill rock graders for it. And I don't think anybody actually needs it yet, so... You can always come back here. This is the door to the northern side. Which is... that was Metapontir Boreas, this is Notus. And, um... There are actually two treasure chests on this side. Uh, one of which is directly in front of us. guys. Er, it's hard to tell where you are on this map, unfortunately. So, I'll come back and clean these guys up later. But there are two chests here, one of which has some components in it, and the other has the key to the next tier. You guys are really Mostly right now, I'm just looking for a landmark. Okay, well, there's a landmark. This is. Right. Okay. This is the intel. And I guess I'm gonna have to fight these guys, and I'll do that. Next time. Well, I cleaned up a lot of those monsters, but I'm still kind of lost, unfortunately. Um, I think I know where I am. Uh, this teleporter here is leads on to the next tier, so we don't need to go there just yet. We're actually kind of running out of time for this episode. But I want to at least get something done, and then just wander around randomly. But I think I know where I'm going. I think. I cleared out all the enemies that were around here. We're up to battle rank 55 now. Rush still hasn't learned his uh, Snowblind, the, the weapon art for Nightblade, which sort of bothers me. I'm turning off all of his two-weapon stuff just so he focuses on using just the one weapon. Okay, that door leads back to where we were supposed to go. So it is, in fact, directly in front of us, but the place where we're trying to go is behind that demon there, uh, behind that wall. And, uh, well, there's a wall in the way. So we're going to grab the other chest that's, in, that's here before heading on. Now, if you actually look at the map, we're at, it's kind of at the north end of it. And there's some Glossolobolus here, who, again, drop different things than they do in other places. Um, but we fought them, or something similar to them. I'll clear that up, all that off, off screen. This is the first chest. Again, with if you find it in a chest, it goes to everybody. Uh, they don't even have to split it between people. The Goddess Wristlet is by far the biggest hit point bonus of an item in the game. It's also got some nice other benefits. And the Valiant Eardrop is the best earring in the game. But, uh, you know, those aren't real huge deals, but they're nice to have. And frankly, more hit points is almost becoming um, not useful. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Next time, we'll finish with Metapond here and uh, 
head down to the last level. See you then!